I'm Sam, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this leafy macrame choker necklace. You can wear it short like this, you can wear it longer, however you're feeling. Creating and making things has helped me so much with my mental health and just with everything in general. And I am so excited to have the opportunity to share that with you guys. Well done for being here today. You're learning something new and you should be so proud of yourself. If you like these videos, please give them a like. Subscribe if you want to be kept up to date with new videos and make sure you click the little notification bell. I'll be making new ones each week. So if you want to come on the macrame journey with me, <laughs> let's do that. Let's, let's make tie knots, make things. I love to use it as a form of meditation and like time to set intention and, and really put that intention into our work. If you have any questions or tips, please leave them in the comments below. And if you have Instagram, I would absolutely love to see your creations. You can tag ocean underscore expression and I would love to connect. I'll pop a simpler video up here and in the description below. If you just want to learn the basics of wrapping a stone, go check out that video. Uh, but if you're ready to get into this leafy pattern, let's do that. Let's make some magic. For this necklace, we're going to need a few things. We'll need a measuring tape, a lighter for finishing off, a crystal that we want to wrap, a wooden bead, some green 0.8mm macrame thread that I will link in the description below, and some scissors. Okay, so to start off with, we're just going to wrap our crystal. So we'll get four pieces of our cord that are 43 centimeters long. Then we're going to make a net. So we'll place one of our pieces of string that way, and one of our pieces of string this way. Then we're going to get the one that's on the bottom, pull it up, hold the two tails together and tie a simple knot just by looping the tails around, pulling them through. We're going to make this knot about seven millimeters long and we're going to do the same on the other side. So we'll pull our tails to make them an even length. And tie a knot on the other side. Then we're going to match the two loops up. One of our other pieces of cord, pop it through the hole. Match the tails up. tie another knot. Just the same as we've done for all the other ones. And then we're going to do that again for our last string. Matching our little loops up. that last string in, beating the tails up at the end, tying a knot. Now we're going to start to make our net. So we're going to take, we've got four knots like that. So we're going to take one string from one pair, one string from the neighbouring pair, and tie them together. Then we're 
and we'll do the same with the neighbouring knot. So I'll take one from that pair, one from the next pair, and tie them together. Do it on the next pair. One from one pair, one from the one next to it. And last one for this round. Now we're going to do the same for the next round. We've got something starting to look like a net now. And we'll keep making knots. So the next round we'll get one from one pair, one from the neighbouring pair. One from one pair, one from the neighbouring pair. Tie them together. And again, one from one pair, one from the one next to it. And the last one for this round. And we'll test how our crystal is sitting in there. It's looking nice and snug. So we'll do the next round. One from one pair. One from the neighbouring pair. And just keep doing this, repeat this, until your crystal fits nicely in the net. That's looking lovely. So we'll position the net where we like it on our crystal. And then we're just going to twist our cord and loop it around and tie it in a knot just like we've been doing all along. Making sure that it's nice and secure in the net. Then we'll pull each cord individually to make sure that our big knot is tight then we're gonna grab our bead if you need to you can hollow it out a little bit if it's a wooden one then we're just gonna leave four of our cords out and snip the other four and burn them so they're finished off nicely. There we go. Then we're going to cut more cords. Each of these cords that we cut is going to be 135 centimeters long. So we've got our eight cords. We're going to fold them in half, put the tails together so we can find our middle, which is here. Then get our 
little net bit that we have here. Put two of our cords through here. Tie these two cords onto these two cords. To hold our bundle nice and tightly in the middle just like that so I'll tie it once tie it twice then I'm just going to individually tie them again to make sure that they're definitely not going anywhere Then the short cords that we have, we're just going to snip them and finish them off. With our lighter. Then we're going to put all of these cords through our bead. So I'd use a wooden bead. I'll pop some wooden beads up on my website, which I'll link in the description below. But I'd recommend just going to the op shop. There's usually heaps of wooden beads there. That's where I get all mine from. And I love getting beads and recycling jewelry from the op shop because it's recycling, good for our earth, and it's also contributing to a charity. So I'll put some up on the website if you can't bother going to the op shop. But if you want to go to the op shop, definitely do that. Okay, so we've hollowed out our bead a bit. So hopefully these strings will be able to kind of easily get in there. When I'm threading them I like to twist them a little bit as I find it makes it a little bit easier. Hopefully I've hollowed this bead out enough. Get them all in but then it's got to get over our knot as well. So cross our fingers. And hooray, the beat is on. <laughs> so then we're going to get our two groups of eight strings. I'm just going to get something heavy and place it on the cords that I'm not working with to make it a bit easier to work with these cords. So I'm going to separate them four on each side, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we'll get our two middle ones and twist them over each other. Then the one that's underneath is going to go over the one on top, under and through. over, under and through. Moving along. The next one on that side will go over, under, through. Over, under, and through. 
So the cord that's in my left hand is our working cord and we're just wrapping the other cords around it essentially. So over under through. Move under through. Our last one. Now for the other side. And then the one next to it, but under through. Over. And we're going to separate our cords again. So we have four on one side and four on the other side. And we're going to do the same thing again, so we'll take one from, we're not going to twist them in the middle this time, we're just going to take one, the middle on this side, and wrap the one next to it, go under, over, through. And do that with each string twice. So our string from the middle, grab the next string over and go over, under, through. one along the last one Separate our cords again and do the same thing. So we've got four on each side. Make sure you're pulling each knot nice and secure so it's nice and neat.
I love using macrame as a form of meditation because it is repetitive, but that's the beauty of it. Having the time to be able to set the intention for your piece you're creating. So you're doing the other side now. And while you're doing this, focus on your breathing. <sighs> Let yourself relax. And you're learning something new. You should be so proud of yourself. I'm so proud of you. So we'll get our middle one from each side, bring it across. Last one for this side. Now I'll do the other side, getting that one closest to the middle. And last one for this side. Now what we're going to do is leave all the middle ones underneath. We'll bring our two outside ones, cross them over each other, and over, under, through. Over, under, through. And then we have our first little leaf bit. Then we're going to take the cords that we've just tied together, the two middle ones, and we're going to grab, separate our cords into the right sides, so we've got four cords on each side, and we're going to wrap these cords again, so going over, under, through, over, under, through.
we're going to do this side. So taking the middle one, taking the other one, over, under, through. The next one. And the last one on this side. We'll separate them again to their sides. And go from the middle. You guys are doing so well. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's starting to rain outside. I love the sound of rain. It's so relaxing. So on the other side, taking our middle one. Over, under, through. And wrapping it two times with each cord on this side. And separating them again. So we got four on each side from the middle. On the other side, wrapping it two times with each of the cords. Tying love and intention into each knot. what we're doing when we say made with love. <laughs> it really is. Separating them again, going from the middle. And working our way out.
and on the other side. So we've got four rows on each side. We're gonna let our middle ones go underneath, get our two outside ones, and cross them over, and go over under through, and join them together to bring our leaf together. And make the tip of our leaf. It's so cute. And I love it so much. I'm gonna get our strings separated again. So we got them on the sides that they're coming from. And we got four on each side and we'll do that again. So starting from the middle and working out Doing the other side. Three. And again from the middle, working our way out. And on the other side.
going back to the middle. And working each side again. Other side. One more row for this little leaflet. Do one more row on each side. One more row on this side. Then we'll get our two outside ones. Cross them over. Bring them together to make a nice tip of our leaf. Then we're just going to keep repeating this all the way down until we have eight leaflets. Okay, so I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little leaflets, and I've got about this much left on the end. So about 21 centimeters left on the end. Now we're gonna do the other side. So flip our work around, pop something heavy on the side that we're not working with, and we'll start on the opposite side. So we'll separate our strings into two groups of four. Grab our two middle ones, cross them over, and we'll go over under through. Over under through. And working along. Under three. 
Moving on to the next one. And the last one on that side. Now we'll do the other side. So we've got four chords on one side, four chords on the other side, and we're going to be leading with the first chord that we wrapped on this one. So we'll go to the next one over, and go over, under, through. Next one along. And the last one. So we'll get them on their right sides and then we'll work with the middle one from this side, pull it over as it's going to be our leader, get the next one along, over, under, through, over, under. Now you probably have this down pat from doing the other side, so I'm just going to do one leaf with you. For this side, and then I'll meet you back at the end. And the last one from this side. Doing this side, leading with this chord, over under through, over under through. Last one on this side. And then we'll start on the other side again. Doing this side now.
So we've got three little lines. Now this is our fourth line. We're going to do a go on this side again. one on this side. And the last one on the left side. one on this side. Now that we've got four rows on each side, we'll grab our two outside ones and pull them together. Cross them over each other and bring them together. To make our first little leaf. Over under through again. And we have our first leaf. Then we're going to continue this for a total of eight leaves. So we've got the same as this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So starting with the two middle cords, following them out. Okay, so I just finished the other side doing the eight leaf. Oh my gosh, it's starting to storm. That's exciting. I love thunder, and I love rain, and I love storms. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so we've got our little leaflets. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get two end pieces that we have here, and one more. So we're going to want three, because we're just going to braid this bit. So we'll flip over. This will chop off our excess cords and do the same on the other side. One, two, three that we're going to be keeping and the other ones we're just going to chop off. And then we'll burn these to finish them off nicely. And we're just going to pop one side under our heavy thing and just do a simple braid with our end ones. So going, bringing the outside one to the middle, outside one to the middle, and 
am continuing that. all the way down until you get to the end. And once we've gotten to the end of our braid, I'm just going to loop it around and tie it off, tying it as close to the end as I can get it, making it really tight, close to the end. And then we're just going to repeat that on the other side. Okay, so we're at the end of this string. We're just going to tie this one in a little knot at the end by looping it around on itself. And tying it as close to the end as we can and making it as tight as we can. Then we're just going to burn our ends to finish them off neatly. And so that they definitely won't come undone. Then we're going to bring our ends across like this, so they're parallel to each other. And get one of our pieces of cords that we snipped off before. We're going to place it under the two. And tie it. Just like this. Putting the tails together to make sure that we have it even on both sides and pulling it tight we're going to face it this way and we're just going to do a square knot to make this adjustable so we'll go making our number four sort of shape over the two middle cords we'll take the other tail over the tail under the two in the middle and up and through the loop. Then we're going to do a back to front four. Go over the tail, under the two in the middle, and up and through the other loop. Now on this side again, over the tail, under the two, up and through the loop. So just alternating sides until we have our adjustable bit as long as we want it. One more. Over the tail, under the two in the middle, and up and through that loop. You guys are amazing. <laughs> you should be so proud of yourself. You learnt something new, and that's amazing. So at the back, we're going to tie this off, just like this, and then we will burn, like cut and burn the ends, just to finish it off. When we're burning them, make sure you stick it back onto the adjustable bit and not onto one of the moving strings because we don't want it to get stuck. So we're going to burn this and stick it back onto the little adjustable bit. And there we go, beautiful macrame leaf choker necklace. Hooray, we did it! We made our beautiful leafy necklace. Ah, I'm so proud of you. You should be so proud of yourself.
If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and make sure you click the little notification bell if you want to be kept up to date with new videos. I'll be making like one or two new videos a week, focusing on macrame jewelry, just bringing it back to basics, bringing it back to what I love and what keeps me calm, what grounds me, and hopefully be able to gift that to you. If you enjoy this video and you're ready to get into something a little bit more intricate, I'll pop up the next video over here and in the description box below and make sure you check it out. Sending you big love and happy making.